YouTube. This is Killer Ghost 1981. Bring you the Red Cat Volcano EPX, the brush version. Well, <laughs> no longer the brush version because I upgraded it to the Valenium system. I was outside playing with it one day and uh, I broke the left hub carrier, and lost the dog bone. As you can see, <laughs> tried to glue it back, quick fix, didn't work. Um, so far I added on the rear back lights and the front headlights. Well, let's look under the hood, see what I got. Yes, it looked like a hard mess because I'm planning on changing these out. Um, it's the Valenium system, as you can see. Still got the heat, heat sink on it. Um, and this is a fun truck to have. Being the price that I paid, I wasn't expecting it to be as fun as it is. But my next project is, once I start really getting the money up for it, I'm actually planning on uh, I'm planning on putting the aluminum shock towers <clears throat> the aluminum um, control arms for all four I already got the two back two piece um, dog bone system coming in I'm gonna get them to order another set for the fronts that actually will eliminate me losing them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna upgrade the servo, transmitter, and receiver, and I'm gonna possibly end up going even more faster. So I'm probably gonna go with the Marble Monster or the Ballistic by Novak. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to have another running video with just the Millennium motor in there and I'll probably try to get an upgrade battery soon. But other than that, like I said, this is a very fun truck to have, to play with. And if you're looking for a vehicle that's not as expensive as Traxxas is, or HPI or any of the other ones and you want like something that has a lot of bang for your buck I do suggest that you get this because I'm telling you I wasn't expecting half the stuff that's up, that this truck can do I was just expecting it to be like something Post a Toys R Us style because it was a brush system. And, uh, oh, forget it. I'll put the body on later. Um, and the shocks on here, it's like still insanely crazy. I don't know, I'm end up having to change it because, well, change the oil in it because uh, I like to do a, like, a lot of on-road and straight off-road and I don't want my bottom to be scraped up as much as it, as a lot of cars I've seen scraped up so far. But I mean, I'm doing pretty well not to scrape it up as much. But, oh yeah, and I'm also planning on getting a uh, uh, um, better chassis bottom. Get the aluminum chassis body. Well, this is Killer Ghost signing out. Y'all see you in a running video real soon. Later.